lost their lives today. A lot of them were Latino men and women who are immigrants, who are queer, who are queer people of color. The other thing that I want to honor is that it takes a lot for queer immigrants of color to be here. As someone who grew up in the Central Valley, I want to honor all of the queers who come to the Bay Area, from San to come to Oakland and San Francisco, from places like Visalia and Bakersfield, and all of the cities of the Central Valley where it is not okay to be queer even today. I was recently in Central Florida with my sister, and we were looking around and we we're like, "Holy shit, this is Modesto, Florida. This is Manteca, Florida." And the people who were in that club were probably coming from all over Florida to be happy and out and queer. And the people who died are representing communities, pueblitos, little towns in Ecuador, in Peru, in Mexico, in Colombia. This is going to reach communities all over the world. It takes a lot for a person who is a Mexican who has had to deal with an anti-Mexican rhetoric in this country, who is queer, who has had to deal with an anti-queer rhetoric in this country to be out and proud. And so I want to say one thing about the Latino community. We are strong people. And we will continue to be strong people. But we cannot do this alone. We need help. We need you to speak out when you see anti-immigration rhetoric happening. We need you to speak out when you see black and brown people harassed on the streets. We need you to speak out when you see people on next door targeting us because we are walking in our neighborhoods. Yes. Yeah. We're not going to go away. We're still going to be walking down the street in the Fruitvale, hella queer. And we may show up at Pride, but it might be overrated. <laughs> but you, as a community, and us as a community, we need to stand together. Somos semillas. Gracias. Yes.